have someone special with me today. Do you guess? Have a guess. Hi! <laughs> so this is Sarah from Tons of Blush. Yes. And she's also on YouTube, Instagram. I refer to her as the pastel queen. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> but we're in London right now and she's showing me everything Instagram aesthetic. She has got it down. Look at this wall behind us. Um, and you guys are going to come along with us today. Yes. So stay tuned. And more pastel to come. <laughs> so much more. <laughs> Okay, so we are back, location number two, and we already have thousands of photos, but we feel like we need more. Oh god, yeah. Rude. Rude? <laughs> <laughs> um, but this place is called, is it called Peggy? It's like Peggy Por Peggy Portions. Por it's some Peggy P. Peggy P. Peggy P. Peggy P. Peggy P. We're at the Peggy P's and even we're just sat outside oh, having a this drink. This angle is working for us. This oh, you're gonna take some photos like this after. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, but again, we're just in London. We're living our best life, and Sarah is making me get out of my comfort zone and yeah. actually take good content. Yeah, I'm trying to make her yeah. do this as like a full time career and join me in the ranks, yeah. like because. <laughs> I feel like you could do it so anywhere. It's so close to London. I know. You yeah. Have to hop on a like bus to London every like month and just like utilize everything here. Yeah. So I've never seen a place that's like so Instagramable. Like no, I didn't. But the thing is, I had no idea it was actually like this. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of other people wouldn't know either because yeah. if I'm so close and I have no idea that it's so beautiful, yeah. How would anyone else know? So we're helping you yeah. guys out today. <laughs> we should have done. Oh, we can do an Instagramable tour of London if we try. Maybe this could be an Instagramable tour, taking us from place to place. This will stream. How to get the best photos? You don't even need to edit these pictures. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but also, honestly, like this whole street, like if you come to, yes. what is the location again? Because there's two different ones. Do you know what? I can look it up on my phone. It's like, sort of like a B. Uh, Ebery Street. Yeah. So if you were to come to this location, this whole street is just mm -hmm. gorgeous. That guy was gorgeous as well. Hello. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <Refracing> my friends. <laughs> But yeah, this, yeah. this whole street is gorgeous, so like bring like five outfits and you'll be good. Yes. You'll have content for like a month, I promise you, mm -hmm. this place is gorgeous. Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, also, this is our food. I realized that I haven't actually, I probably showed you a little bit of it, but like, it's gorgeous as well. Wow, <laughs> wow, it's just, it's it's all Instagrammable food. Exactly. It's very pink, it's very beautiful, but it actually tastes amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. from the bite that I had, it's good. <laughs> Anything for the content. Exactly. <laughs> That's right, honestly. Oh my god, please go and focus. Um hi, hello, good morning. It's the next day. I only planned to vlog for one day. But then, <laughs> honestly, me and Sarah had so much catching up to do that I didn't film that much. So I'm gonna bring you along for another day. It's not gonna be quite as exciting, but I feel like the footage I got from yesterday wasn't that exciting anyway. <laughs> so, um, I am about to make breakfast. Whoop. I feel like you can barely see me. Oh my God, struggle. This is why I don't vlog. 
Okay, I am about to make breakfast. I get a lot, a lot of questions about my breakfast. I think it's just because I'm extra in every sense of the word. Um, but one of my favorite breakfasts to make is oatmeal. So I'm gonna show you how I'll make it because it's exciting. <laughs> Okay, step one is the pretty much non-exciting part because it's literally oats. I weigh them out and I usually like to have around 50 grams. It said 52 when I was done, but sometimes the scales aren't great. Um, and then I pour my milk in. I need to take this off and I make sure it goes up to around 210 because then it makes a really good consistency. And just measuring out has helped me make it the same every time. So yeah, this is the boring part. So whilst I was in the microwave cooking, I get all the ingredients I need. So what I do is I add like a flat teaspoon of whole earth peanut butter. So like any peanut butter that's um, actually made out of peanuts and not like a bunch of like salt, sugar, all the bad stuff. And then I get some strawberries and just sprinkle them on the top. These are honestly like, they take it to another level and my advice for like okay shut up I know you're done um my advice for making sure that you don't waste any fruit especially with strawberries and the kind of things is the second you get them cut them up into pieces like this and then you can just eat them freely sprinkle them freely you don't have to prep them every time you have them okay now the strawberries are on top what I like to add is a little bit of this, which I just got from Holland and Barrett. It's just like a mix of seeds and stuff, and then sprinkle it on top. Okay, let me try and do this with one hand. Just like a few, and then voila. It like looks and tastes stunning and it's my favorite and I like that like added crunchiness. Yum, yum. So one piece of advice I would give if you are making this is let it cool down for a bit. What I like to do is I make my morning coffee at the same time and then I drink that and by the time I drank that it's like perfect temperature and then it thickens up a bit because as you can see it looks a little wet now i'm gonna get on with my morning i'll check back in with you when it's morning workout time <laughs> um pretty packed day but i'll try and take you along for as much as possible okay so it is like 45 minutes later i like to take my time in the morning we had breakfast we showered we brushed our teeth and we are ready for the gym. So I'm gonna go through what's in my gym bag because I find it helpful when people do these videos, but I'm just gonna do a little segment because some of you might not care. <laughs> okay, so um, I've just made these. So pre-workout I will actually drink before I go. And then this is a protein shake. It's just like regular ass protein shake in chocolate nut flavor. And then I mix it with a bit of coconut milk and a bit of ice. I used to mix it with water, but the ice melts by the time that I have it anyway. And then it tastes really, really good and like smooth and cold. And then actually inside my gym bag is my water bottle, a resistance band, and a barbell pad for when you're doing those good, good hip thrusts. Ladies. If you are not doing hip thrusts, do them. They're fun, it's a good burn, and it's really good for your bum. Trust, trust, it's great. Um, I will show you a few of the things I do. I'm not going to show you a full workout because no one asked for that. But if you want that, then I will be happy to comply. And I will see you at the gym. Yee! Oh yeah, it's leg day, that's why I'm so excited. I'm about to drink this pre-workout and...
a mess okay please don't hate me but i just didn't feel comfortable filming in the gym today it was so so busy i'm gonna have to put my hair up again because i'm so sweaty um it was a really good leg day so what i did is i filmed my stretching because no one was really there at that point and then the weight area is just crazy and then this one was staring at me and i was like please go um so i did deadlifts i did 70 kilos five sets of 10 and then i did hip thrusts 50 kilos five sets of 10 and then resistance kickbacks on you know the machine where you put like and i think i did like 10 kilos not that much and like kick back and by that i was dying so it's a really good workout and then roll stretch again just to kind of get my body in a good position um i have no time before i have to go to the chiropractor so i'm hoping this pasta cooks really quick i'm using a lid and i never use a lid um it's just holy pronounce this fusilli 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 going back in my cupboard if i have eggs then i just have pasta with a pasta sauce and eggs i boil them in the same pot eat the egg white I honestly don't have time and i don't have eggs um so i mix my pasta which is going in the pot now because i have no time oh honey please i need to eat <laughs> um i hate when i laugh at myself on camera i don't do it in real life but for some reason i do it on camera it's like my own built-in laugh track um this is the pasta sauce that i use it's so tasty and because i can never be bothered to make my own pasta sauce because then i'd have to you, you know what i mean and then i put a tin of tuna in there um it's dolphin safe gotta get that dolphins safe because dolphins are intelligent beautiful animals and now everyone's going to tell me off for not being vegan but this is my post-workout meal it was raining on my way home so i'm currently having the protein shakes i don't like to hold an umbrella drink this and like try and not get water in my face but either way amazing workout i'm dying oh my god the cutest fucking oh shit i'm not supposed to swear um literally the cutest woman she was probably i don't know because black women always look amazing and they always look like 20 years old for their entire life but I'm guessing she was probably like 40 um and she was so like sweet and she came up to me and she was just like I've seen you do this before but I'm just always amazed by how strong you are and I was like bitch thank you do you want to be friends do you want to adopt me and like I just love like that because um I get a lot of dirty looks from women which really sucks because like why I don't know as a fat person I always feel kind of uncomfortable lifting in the gym and doing stuff and like visibly getting tired and like pushing myself because i feel like people people just people are weird about everything but yeah um <laughs> look at that little bun yeah it was just it was so sweet of her to do that and i really appreciated it and it put me in a really good mood because I just like when women are really friendly at the gym. Because I've had people tell me that before and I'm like, <laughs> thank you. And I'm literally listening to like heavy metal in my headphones and I'm like, oh my God, wow. And it's like <laughs> in my ears. Can you tell that I have too much energy after the gym? Um, okay, we're gonna do a quick shower because my chiropractor has to touch my whole body and I don't want to be gross for that. Um, but I'll check in after because obviously I'm not going to film in my chiropractor's office because, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll check in later. Hey, hello, how are you? The bun is back. We're in the same position, but I promise we're not doing the same thing. You can hear the sizzling. It is meal prep time. I know I've already showed you a lot of food. This is not a what I eat in the day video. But I do get a lot of questions about meal prep. So I thought I might as well show you because, right, I need a little disclaimer. My day was supposed to be more exciting. Um, 
<laughs> After I went to the chiropractor, I was supposed to go to the library and work on my group project, but everyone bailed. So I still ended up going to the library, but then working on things within the group project, but on my own, and then working on an assignment that I have due next week, trying not to think about my dissertation, and I didn't think that was very interesting because it was just me sitting in the library for hours doing the thing, eating Jaffa cakes. Um, and then I was also supposed to go to hot yoga with someone and I thought that would be really cool to bring you along because it would be my first time too and I know that people are scared to try new things and it seemed really interesting and really fun and a lot of people swear by it and I have a lot of stress. So... But then that person cancelled as well because you know what, dissertation stress is currently getting to everyone. So instead I stayed in the library a little bit longer, came home, had a nap, tried to have a nap. I ended up having a 10 minute nap and then my alarm went off because I don't like to have super long naps during the day so I have power naps which are like under 30 minutes but then you see where I'm headed. <laughs> But I'm going to show you what I'm making anyway. So, so far the broccoli is done. And, ooh, lordy, lordy, lord. So, so far the broccoli is done. And I feel like I'm going to regret showing you this because it's my kitchen's an absolute mess right now. But I have the world's smallest kitchen. This is the entirety of my kitchen. Um, everything is everywhere. You know what, it's exam season, we're stressed. We are currently cooking up some onions. I hope that I haven't, do you know what, vlogging and cooking is a bad idea. I feel like I've left them too long. They'll be fine. Let's just turn it down a little bit. Um, and then the chicken is also going to go in there and I'm going to mix it with a bunch of spices. And then once that's done, in the same spices I'm going to do... Actually, let's go to the... Oh, let's check on... These are like protein chicken sausages. They're looking pretty good. They're not done yet. Okay. I feel like a visual aid will be good. Obviously, there's no meal prep in my fridge right now, so it's empty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to steam some Monge, Monge 2. I think that's how you pronounce it. And some baby corn. And then once the chicken is done, what I'm going to do is slice up some courgettes and some mushrooms and cook it in the same spices. And then within this meal prep, every like box, because obviously the broccoli is done already, every box is going to have munch to baby corn courgette mushrooms but then three of them are gonna have onions and chicken and then the other three are gonna have the protein chicken sausages and honestly and honestly guys it's really good it's really tasty um one thing i will tell you is the certain things i just can't be bothered to meal prep rice is one of them sometimes i'll do it most of the time i won't with these sort of recipes, what I like to do is grab some of these and that supplies you for two of these meals. It's this stuff. <laughs> it's like hella tasty, it's my favourite thing ever. And they're just amazing. If not, I've got like a bulgur wheat and quinoa mix and I'll make that with like... I like to make it with vegetable stock just to give it like that extra little bit of flavour. But if not bang those in the microwave you're done so i almost forgot to film but this is the finished product as you can see i added all the mushrooms the courgette the <laughs> why am i blanking on what's in here munch too baby corn and obviously these ones are with the chicken and the onions and then these are with the protein sausages and honestly I am so excited to eat all this it looks so green and so beautiful 
it's no longer Wednesday my dudes but I have just finished arm day today on the agenda I am well I went to the gym this morning did arm day and I'm having lunch now which is just my meal prep and my rice it's still warm because I took the piss because I did laundry this morning and I've just put it out because if I don't put it out straight away like then it gets long and yeah <laughs> um right now I'm gonna head to the library after I finish oh my god hello okay right we're gonna head to the library after I finish my food and have a quick shower and then I'm gonna have my very first exciting hot yoga class so I don't know if I mentioned it before but this is what I was supposed to do yesterday so I was like screw it I'm gonna go on my own and go today I also sometimes I'm in the mood for like the rice to be a little bit more wet so I use a little bit of this sauce if I have some in the fridge if I'm in the mood for that it's all about catering it's all about catering your foods to what you like and your needs as you guys all know like even though I work out a lot and it's very much a part of my life and eating healthy is a part of my life I am not a weight loss I'm not a diet channel I think there's a lot of content out there for that so I don't believe that I need to cater to that so yeah this is a non weight loss non stigma non diet non anything regard to health I'll see you later I'm gonna ask them if I can film in there because I think it'll be really cool to see it because I watched a video of the setup and it seemed really really exciting but no guarantees because it seems very very like closed off they say they lock the doors five minutes before so I have to be on time yo <clears throat> am I okay <sighs> we're back um, I couldn't film in there because it was a very very small area but I'll try and get a clip of what I put on my insta story <coughs> oh my god I'm so thirsty um, so when I got in there it's a very small space and it's in like a pod and she said that there was more people there than there usually is so it was going to be a little bit hotter than usual so just like take your time make sure you drink a lot of water because usually it's 37 degrees celsius and boy <laughs> it was hot it was it was really hot um at one point i was in this like weird twisty pose i don't know yoga words and <laughs> The sweat was coming down so much it was like a it was like a drippy faucet it was just like boop, boop, boop. and I expected to sweat but possibly not quite that much but I did get a few warnings from people being like it's really really hard and I think because people told me it was really hard I expected it to be almost impossible so <laughs> compared to my expectations it was not bad at all but it was really fun and I do feel really relaxed now and very very hungry so just like every professional yoga person I'm about to eat pizza and down another one of these <laughs> 